We're going to start out with a quarter inch drill and then we'll go to a, a seven sixteenths and then to a three quarter and then to a one inch and then we'll go from there to a boring bar. Okay, like six more thousands getting her done. Okay, that should do it. We'll meet you over back over to drill press. What I'm doing now, I'm cutting these little notches out to where we, we're going to slit it right in between them two and put a screw in there to tighten it up on the uh, uh, tail stop uh, shaft. Uh, I didn't turn the camera on to start with, so that's my fault. But here we go. we're doing is cutting uh, five eighths by a half inch corner on each one of these off on each corner I mean and uh, then we're going to put a hole through here to this side thread this side and screw and slit it right here in the middle Okay, we got them finished. Now what we're gonna do, we'll take you over to the drill press and we'll drill a hole through right here, through to the other side. Better cut that off before I get my finger in it. Uh, and we'll slit it in two. Uh, this side will be threaded and this side just have a socket head cap screw in it. All right, we over here to the drill press. And got the hole started. Camera's in the way, I gotta back it up a little bit. through there with the tap drill.
Just drilled it halfway with that one. That was the clearance drill. Huh? All right, now we're back. My son came in. He was looking for some zip ties. So we're going to drill this through with the tap drill now. Uh-oh. Oops, got my arm in the way. All right. And now we're gonna drill the counter bore it for the uh, Let me get my arm out of the way this time, where you can see it. All right. Now we got a drill, and then we got a. Uh, Use a slitting saw. I did not drill, but tap, and uh, then we'll have to slit it with a slitting saw. Maybe bring you back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got a uh, M5 tap in here. We're gonna start it with the uh, drill press and then we're going to take it out and uh, finish it up hand tapping it. Uh, I'll meet you back over at the bench. I'm going to finish this up off camera. All right, we're back over here at the bench. We got her, we got her tapped and uh, she's looking good. We're going to take, uh, this is a slit and saw arbor I made uh, a few uh, videos back. We're going to take it and we're going to cut this half in two right here where it, uh, when it tightens up it'll squeeze around the shaft on the tail stop. I'll uh, bring you over to the mill. Okay, we got her set up over here and we're going to uh, use a slit and saw to cut this slot in there. Uh, so here we go. Well, wait a minute. I think I'll scoop that thing out just a little bit further first. Yeah, I think we'll go right there with that. I think I put that okay when I put that slitting saw back on there before it was put it on there backwards so I it wouldn't have hurt anything I could just run it in reverse but it was throw the chips this way and I didn't want that so I changed it back around so here we go
okay, we got her slid in too. We'll get a find us a boat and uh, run a tap back to her and make sure the hole is uh, cleaned out where the saw was at, and we'll be back. All right, we're back. I got the screw and uh, let's see if I can get it tilted down here enough to fall back off a little bit. We'll put the screw in there. I'm gonna take it all over there to the. Uh, All right, let's go over to the, I'll take y'all over to the uh, lathe. Okay, we're here over here at the lathe now. I gotta go up over there. Gonna put her right there. Just fine, I think. I don't know if I can get y'all in there and so this right here. I don't like the way that turns, but it ain't moving the indicator none, but uh, it's good and steady there. The tail stock's got about two thousand supply in it. I can probably take that out back here. But uh, I got a depth gauge on there now where I can uh, uh, tell how deep I'm drilling without having to stop and measure and do all this other stuff. It, uh, let me make sure it's good and tight. I'm going to get up under here and see if I can't do something for that after a while. But I'm real proud of that. I think it'll work just fine. I got something in the mail today I wanted to show y'all. Got this from Jim Debman at Saw Logs and Plastic Hubs. He sent me a, a little care package. And I'm real proud of it because I was uh, thinking the other day I needed a piece of Delrin to uh, do some uh, projects. Sent me two pieces of this. It's black, it's about uh, three quarters. Uh, here's another piece of. Uh, it's about seven eighths, and that little end there is probably, uh, I don't know. Let's see. I don't think I got nothing out here to take there. That's right at an inch. So that's a good little piece to make some uh, uh, washers I'd need another day. Then I got a piece of about two inch. Uh, about three inches long and I got a piece of uh, inch and a half and this is uh, no it's an inch and three quarters on that end and uh, yeah about an inch and three quarters and uh, this one, I said that was two inches. It's actually two and a half. I thought it looked awful big there for two inches. I want to thank you, Jim, and uh, he sent a little note what I do with it. Here at, uh, oh, yeah, uh, he says that in my last video, my Delron, Delron supply was limited. Yeah, I had, uh, uh, four or five small pieces in my box, and uh, I really do appreciate this, Jim, and uh, uh, Jim's a real good guy, y'all, uh, y'all enjoy his channel, it's uh, Jim Dedman at, uh, Dedman at uh, Saw Logs and Plastic Hubs, uh, I've been uh, 
been watching him for a long time. Uh, I watched him for uh, probably a year or so before I ever even started commenting. And I watched a bunch of channels before I ever even started commenting on them. And uh, then this year I've decided to get my own channel up. So, uh, Jim, thank you again and appreciate it and God bless.